This was possible within Logic, but I didn't realize you could do this in Bitwig, but now they figured out how to do it, it makes a whole lot of sense. So shout out to PowerMat, the user over on the KVR Bitwig forum, for showing me how to do this. Uh, he had the instructions all laid out. I'm going to link to his post because he has some downloads to presets that you can look into if this video doesn't make sense. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive into it. So what this will let you do is make saved clips that will allow you to store automation shapes so that you can access them on the fly and really easily implement different types of automation. So we're going to start with a blank clip and what you're going to do with the clip is size it to whatever size that you want and create a note. It doesn't matter where the note goes, just make sure you stretch it out for the entirety of the clip and we're going to jump to the important part here. Uh, for, so the note is going to have its timbre changed. We're going to make use of this part of the note expression for our automation. So I'll just make a really simple downward slope as my automation shape. And now what we're going to do is uh, use this shape to modify another track. And so the way that we do that is here I'm going to add just a simple polysynth, nothing too fancy. And before the polysynth, you're going to insert the note mod device. And so we want to stick polysynth as a nested device within note mod so that we can modify the parameters with the incoming note source. And so now you're probably starting to see how the pieces fit together, but we're going to use that blank clips automation shape to modify the polysynth. So this is really cool. We're going to take the timbre that's affecting that note, and we don't care what happens to that note. What we want is just that timbre information to change up some parameters on polysynth. So you could do this for virtually any instrument once it's nested inside of the note mod. And you're going to want to make sure that you convert this to a hybrid track so that it can take the note data and convert it um, and get that expression information. And it's really that simple. So I'll go ahead and hit play here. It's not going to sound like anything. Oh, we're going to need some notes. It's obviously not going to sound too pretty, but we don't care about that. So, not bad, not bad. Um, so let your imagination run wild with this. You can do any shapes of any length, really, and have them available as presets. And so the last thing we're going to want to do is just save this into our browser so that we have it available in the future. And there you have it, available wherever my clip section is, you can see it. So I've done, done it a few times here. Let's check it out. Boom, there we go. You can use this for multiple tracks as well, um, just as some final words. So you can really have this scale across your entire project. You can have just one envelope acting on as many instruments as you'd like. Um, and something I forgot is you're going to want to make sure that all of the tracks that you're trying to affect with the note mod are armed and that way they'll be able to receive the information correctly. Anyways, I hope you learned something from this video. Um, this is pretty awesome. It's gonna be a huge time saver for me. And uh, thanks for watching.